good morning to you today, Box. That's a rocking song, one of my favorites, Real World by Matchbox 20. The major uh, task for the day is to install a new uh, power and data grapple fixture on the outside of the Russian segment of the International Space Station, specifically the uh, Zarya control module at the, uh, basically the interface between Zarya and the Unity module. Moving along, singing our song. Okay, okay, I have it. You have it. There you go. Thank you. Your workspace. All right, I'm ready to receive. I have it. There you go. I'm good. And I'm going to bring it down into a rough position. Okay, I'm right at one here. I'm around at three. Okay, a little bit more to your by your feet. There you go, Zip. Yeah, so grab the other hand. Oh, sorry. There we go. Okay. There we go. There I, was, I was missing one. Looking good. Okay. Right. Well, you guys there are three attached there. points for this new uh, power and data grapple fixture. Yeah, I see your sights each other clear. Excellent. Put one of them in the seat. Working on uh, foot three just for a quick. I see foot three. And. Here on the work site for four foot two. Try not to bump it. Yeah, I've got a hold of it. As long as foot one is zenith, the orientation is correct. We have foot one zenith. And we have the other feet matching. All right, so then you can soft dock in any order. Hand tighten. And I'm holding it, Mike. Okay. I'm not sure I'm getting the uh, threads just right on this one. So we'll just keep working it till we do. Okay. There we go. I got two with a few threads on it. Okay. Or shot duck. Drew, you should be able to reach this across. I've got it. Okay. And I can reach it. Our plan is coming together. Nice when that happens. Amen. All right. So, uh, Greg, the secondary lock on foot number two closed and locked. I'm giving you WVS views of everything. You can see everything's nice and snug, no cross threading, no troubles. Okay, great. I'm looking at number two. I see that very well. And I'll give you the same on number three. That foot number one is complete as well. Secondary lock and DH black on black with a good uh, torque. If you're looking at through Foistel, very good representation of the size of the International Space Station yeah. as he. Uh, continues his work to uh, reroute some uh, jumpers, some cables associated with uh, providing some redundancy. The American to Russian converter units that transfer power from the U.S. segment over to the Russian segment of the station. This is the bulk of the remaining tasks of the EVA. You're looking over the uh, shoulder, if you will, of the helmet cam of Mike Fink as he uh, has gathered the tools necessary to uh, perform the next task in the uh, timeline for EVA number three, this to uh, install a cable associated with the external wireless uh, system on the U.S. laboratory destiny. A nice view of the planet right there, Mike. Uh, yeah. We should take a picture of Mark. That's a good idea. You want to try or you want me to? Let's both. Spanky, you're going to drop off the crew lock bag near the airlock. Copy. It's a view from Foistel's helmet camera. You can see mission specialist Mike Fink making his way back to the airlock to put away some tools and get ready for their next task. Thanks. From here, Fink is going to be moving uh, to the pressurized mating adapter. Okay. To begin uh, restringing some, this new cable on the starboard side this time, as opposed to the port where he was working last time, while Foistel will be moving back to the uh, Zarya module for that end of the installation. Okay, Taz, I think I have a plan to get in there. An alternate route, but it uh, looks clear. The rat's nest living up to its name as Mike Fink tries to work around some uh, existing cables as he tries to demate some old cables and string a new one. There's a spot right here, in my, right where my head is. Yeah, that's, uh, there's these uh, cables here. They're uh, very, um, I'll say not loose, but 
there's a lot of slack in them, and I think I can just put my head in and reach for 638 and uh, get it without a problem. Mission Specialist Mike Fink giving the go to begin mating his cables that he's been routing. And Greg, uh, J138A is successfully mated. Good news. Excellent. Hatch is now open, as you can see, inside the Quest airlock, allowing the crew to move out of the uh, crew lock portion of the airlock and into the equipment lock where they'll be able to get out of their spacesuits. Getting some help here from Ron Guerin and Commander Mark Kelly.